Welcome, I'm Dragon, and today I'm going to be creating an articulated lizard and 3D printing it. It will be based off of my bearded dragon fireball, and it was inspired by some of the articulated models I've seen on Thingiverse, and of course my lizard fireball, because I've been really wanting to do something that looks kind of like her for a little while now. And with that, let's kick this video into gear by hopping straight into the Blender time lapse. Let's go! Welcome back. As you can see, I did end up tweaking the articulated lizard a little bit since the time lapse, mainly just making it so that it's rounded and so that it can fit better together and move around a little better. And the way that I did this was by tweaking the connector piece. It was a torus, but I changed it to something I manually made. And as you can see, they're a little bit better. I found out about these issues because I 3D printed some test models that were smaller so that I could see work out any issues before I print the life-size one of Fireball. What I didn't expect though is when I went to print the life-size one on the 3D printer, it kept failing on the CR10. So I tried slowing down the printer and increasing the temperature on the build plate, but that didn't work, so I ended up just using a raft, unfortunately. I don't really like using those rafts, but I didn't really want to apply any adhesive, and this one seemed to work. So here is the life-size lizard that succeeded. <laughs>
as you can see, the one with the raft did end up succeeding on the CR-10. The raft definitely was decent size, which actually made it kind of hard to remove the raft, and I am going to have a video on settings on this because I did start playing with settings after doing this video. But another thing that was kind of fun with this is as you can see, the lizard, when you tap its head with the raft, it kind of is like a bobblehead type thing. Just thought it was kind of cool. With the raft off, it looks like this. But while we're at it, here's what the failed prints look like. So here's what the lizard looks like when I actually took the raft off. As you can see, it is huge compared to my hand, and it is actually very satisfying and fun to play with just because of how it moves. It's like, it makes these weird noises as you can hear right now. So yeah, the, it makes these noises that also add to the satisfaction. But then, as you can see, I then went to create a variety of different sizes. And if you're interested in one of these, a link in the description will take you to me and my friend's Etsy shop where I'm actually selling these things. But for now, that would do it for me. And if you want to keep watching these things move, then there will be some extra footage before the end cards show up. But for now, thanks for watching to this point and bye!